On the Small Interview Project today, I'll be talking to Andrew and Micah from the Imagine team. Uh, today on the Small Interview Project, I'm with Andrew and Micah from the Imagine team. How are you today, guys? Good, good. Awesome. Excellent. So our first, uh, our first double, double interview for the Small Interview Project. So uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a world first for us. So the Imagine team, start with you, Andrew. Tell, tell us about what it is you guys do. Sure. So we're an Imagine team based in Canberra, and we develop mobile apps for okay. individuals and businesses and entrepreneurs. Okay, excellent, excellent. And uh, why did you guys go into business? I'll, I'll get answers from both of you guys, so you might have our own different perspectives. So why did you go into business in the first place? Oh, it just sort of, it sort of fell into our laps, really. We started building apps, and people started um, seeing our first app, MyBoss, in Canberra, and people started contacting us, contacting us to build apps for them, and it sort of went from there, really. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's mainly the uh, it's mainly the, the the demand for me, I suppose, uh, and the, the interest of programming also. But um, uh, yeah, there's people need uh, uh, apps, I guess, in the, in the new age yeah, technology definitely. and that sort of thing. So it's, it's a really good uh, it's a really good trait to have because okay. you know, it's, it's a high demand, I guess. Yeah. Sure. And there's there's three of you in the business. Yes. So did you all join the business at the same or start the business at the same time together, or was it no, sort of we, founding? We started, yeah, we started it out of uni actually a couple of years ago and sort of. People came and went and went back to uni, more studies, got other jobs, things like that. So the number's grown and shrunk. Okay. And at the moment, it's just me, Zach, and Micah. Zach's not here today. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, if you had your time over again, so how long have you been in operation so far? Oh, about two years. Two years. Maybe incorporated for less. But... Okay. So if you started again today, what would you guys do differently? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been pretty good, really. Um, I suppose if... Yeah, if I had advice for someone else starting out in a similar sort of entrepreneurial space, I'd say uh, definitely get all your contracts in line up front before you take work yep. and uh, just be careful not to work for too much equity and too little cash. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Micah, any, any different opinions? Or? Um, yeah, what's, what are, what, anything I would do different? Um, not really, yeah. yeah it's, uh, I, get, I mean, it would, hard to, it would be hard to, you know, sort of, Retroactively, you know, gain all kinds of experience and, and, and knowledge that yeah. they had before, uh, you know, going into it. Um, but yeah, there wasn't really uh, anything I'd sort of do different. I guess it wouldn't really okay. know. So so far, you're pretty happy with everything. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's oh. been really, it's been really good. Well, Better good. than we could have expected. Yeah, that's that's uh, the most important thing, isn't it? And what about your biggest challenge? What's been your biggest challenge with your business so far? Mm, I'd say probably marketing. We none of us are really strong marketers. Like we're all from a development background. Yep. We've learned a bit of business and management and other things, but okay. you know, marketing's where we've we've been coming up short, I suppose. But we've definitely been getting enough clients to see to see us through and grow a bit. But yep. I think we, we could definitely improve there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, that's definitely what, what our, our, our strongest sort of challenge has, has been. Um, just you know, sort of getting out there and, and uh, uh, finding people that actually need need our services mm. uh, to require our services that sort of thing so um, okay. uh, people you know slowly but surely the, the more we get out there the, the, the more apps we do for people that that's sure sort of, you know, so what what has been your main sort of method of marketing uh, it's been our, it's been our products mainly yeah, really? yeah, yeah um, what word of mouth referral that type of way or uh, it's pretty much pretty much um, you uh, you get a product out there I guess the, the, our biggest product is, is my bus yeah pretty much the sort of claim is my, my bus my, my bus, bus. Yeah. tell us about that what's, what's that it's so a, it's yeah. a bus app for Canberra so it's got something oh, like I think I've got that on my phone yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, a lot of people have it yeah, yeah okay. so a lot of people who've seen this and there was a bit of story about how we went about that and we wanted to do it for free right and it got to the media a bit and people contacted us saying well we'll give these guys a go okay. and wanted us to build apps for them and it's just gone from there because it's got such a wide user base yeah and everyone's wanted apps from us. So did you develop that in association with, with act, act, Action? Or? Well, we wanted to at first, but like there's quite a, quite a long story to it. But yeah, we ended up doing it for free and causing a bit of a stir okay. about that. And, and it's come, it's so come can, back can, to can, us. Can, you, can you give the, the short ver the five-second version? Or the yeah, sure. Version? We, we said we'd do it for free, and Action said no. And uh, in short, we did it anyway. They didn't want you to do they, it they at didn't, all. They didn't want us to really be involved, I suppose. But that, that's okay. We, we've used the data that they've they've released. Right. We had to hassle them quite a bit to get that data. Yeah, yeah. And, and we've done it anyway now, and so it's benefited the community and us because we've got a lot of business from it, and yeah, it's, sure. still, it's free. And there's like 20, 25, maybe? Yeah. 25,000 people yeah. using it on okay. iPhone and Android combined. And it's still it's a free download, isn't it? It's still free. Okay. Yeah, so free how, how do guys like you make money from that, from a free well, app? I, yeah, um, business coming back to us. So everyone who's seen it, 
they might get you to develop an app yeah, for them. That's yeah. Right. That's yeah, you've had people call up and say, "Are you guys the Are you guys the ones that develop my bus?" It's like, "Yeah, cool. I'm looking for an app as well." So that, that, uh, that's okay. Yeah, yep. it ties into the marketing. Out here. Okay, and I don't know if this is a, a question that you can answer um, in a ballpark figure, but for an average business, average small business out there that wants to get a basic type of app, what sort of what sort of budget would they be looking at? That's really hard to say. Does it depends on the functionality and everything. It, it does. It, does. it depends yeah. whether or not they need an app. A lot of people come to us. They they want a website. They don't know it yet, yeah. or they, they want a website and they really need an app, and yeah. we help to sort of solidify, you know, their requirements and find out what they really need. And so we've been quite good at give, giving them either a website in a lower price range, which can be very affordable for yeah. small businesses, okay. or if your business is centered around an app itself, of course, that's yeah, going to be absolutely. that's going to be the center of it. And so we we've done apps for for around ten thousand dollars. We've yeah. done some for cheaper. Yeah. You, you can trade for equity in yeah, your yeah, business, yeah. and yeah. we've done apps up to forty grand and. and Okay. Above, yeah. So it's, it's a bit of a bit of a tough one to get. Yeah, how long is a piece of string? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I'd okay. recommend anyone come and get a quote from us if they're interested. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> no, no, definitely. Not, nothing like a little self plug. It's, it's what we're here for. Um, and how do you guys uh, focus on working on your business versus in the business? No, no. Well, it's, it's a bit of both, really. Um, yeah, we sort of just let it reactively. We sort of let it naturally balance itself, I suppose, and we find we need to do some more work on the business, put more process in place, or get more customers versus yeah. actually getting the money in the door. It just sort of depends. We, we, we treat it as the situation. Right. Yeah, at, so at this right. point, yeah, at this point, since we're, I guess, a, a startup, the, the two aren't really uh, mutually exclusive, I would imagine, mm. later on. Um, but it can be a, a, a risk for a new business, for, mm. for yeah. you know, spending so much time working in and not actually developing that strategy and the vision and the planning and, and everything for the future. So right, yeah. right. But as, as I said, yeah, the, as a startup, it's kind of sort of hard to, to, to make this, the two communities. Yeah. Like, I would imagine as we grow, yeah. uh, it's it's easier for you know sure. the, the key players to kind of separate themselves. And do you guys all have defined roles, or is there a lot of overlap? There, there is a lot of overlap, like yeah. I said, because we're all from a development background. We, yeah. We're all on a lot of things, but yeah, there is... Yes, it's kind of fluid, but at times, yeah, so usually I'll end up coding one type of project, Mike will end up coding another, and Zach will end up mostly dealing with the client or, right, or okay. some combination of that. Yeah, yeah we, we, try, we try to keep uh, a lot of the things that we're interested in uh, in the company as well, so obviously we have uh, revenue we have to worry about, which is our contract yep. work, and yep. um, uh, I'll generally take care of a lot of that, and then the ventures, like my bus and other Building our own apps. Yeah, building yeah, our yeah, own apps yeah. as well are, are things that... Um, that, that Zach and Andrew mainly handle as well. So. Okay, excellent. That's good. And my last question for you guys is uh, advice to newcomers. If there was someone starting up a business today, any type of business, what advice would you guys have to place on your experiences? Yeah, I would say, I would say do your research. Um, yep. mm. uh, there's, especially if you're going into um, an industry that's, that has a lot of competition, uh, check, check what's out there. Um, check with you know, the prices you're bringing off, uh, offered, you know, what people want, yep. you know, how they're getting it, and that sort of thing. And um, then the type of marketing involved as well, just a bunch of market research involved. It's just to, sure. um, so you can really find out, solidify where you fit in and, yep. and how you can differentiate yourself from, um, from, from your competition. Okay, great. Andrew? I'd say, I'd say we were really lucky in that this business sort of fell into our laps yep. and it happened like that. But that said, I think if you're interested in business or you're considering it, there really is no good time to start a business. You've just sort of got to do it, make it happen, and take a chance. I'm sure there's there's bad and very bad times yeah. to start a business, but I'm, I'm sure, I think it's a matter of just getting out there and do it. You've got to got to try it and uh, give it a go. go. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty good. much it. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's that's a big thing about business is the risk. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If if this hadn't fallen into our laps and started the way it did, I don't think we would have started it. But knowing now what I do, I definitely would would start another business if I didn't have this one. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Well, guys, uh, thank you very much for your time today, and thank you for being part of the small interview project. No worries. Thank thanks. You. Thanks, Tony. Thanks.